hello guys and welcome back so now it's time to create the chat screen we know that as of now you can go to your profile and then you can view your friends from there you can start the chat or even inside here you can chat with them or unfriend okay so these are the friends that uh, they have accepted your friend request okay so also when you go to this friend profile if you want you can unfriend okay the one that we've just checked here you can also unfriend okay so now it's time to create the chat screen so the first time you're entering a chat screen to your friend is through if you go to view friends and then click on chat or if you get in their profile and click on chat and then after you've just sent like one message or so you are going to find all your chats here okay you don't need to go there so now let's create that chat screen first of all let's go to here on a view friends and then let's create this where this click event is let's navigate to the chat screen okay so let's uh, uh, minimize those and then let's create that screen first so here we're going to say on the main screen here right click then new file let's call it chat screen dot dot and then let's create a stateful widget let's call this as chat screen so here on the chat screen for now let's return a scaffold and then that's okay let's just give it a body first like that it says chat and then here it's a chat screen okay so now let's go back to the friends list so here that's when we can click and go to the chat screen so here it says if it says friend view we navigate to the chat screen so let's uncomment this so but here we want to uh, send more arguments okay so instead of this we are going to send more arguments not just one okay so let's just let copilot uh, do it for us so here we'll say navigate to to chat screen with uh, navigate to chat screen with the with uh, the following argument okay so uh one friend uid and then two we want to say to send also the friend name and friend uh, friend image and then after that we also want to send the group id because uh, we might be entering a group but for the group id we're going to send an empty string okay so uh, here we'll say num uh, uh, for instead of chat id we'll say group id with an empty string okay like that and then let's let let's have it send them so here is navigate dot push to chat screen with uh, is get, is getting the user id name and uh, image okay so now to we are going to receive these arguments in the next screen and then we reuse them okay so but let's not send them like this we want to easily identify them okay maybe copilot to identify them back in the chat screen okay so we are going to the chat screen like this with these three arguments okay and then what we are going to do now is to copy just to copy this method and then go inside the profile screen and then also where we are navigating to the chat screen where is that navigate to chat screen here let's send these arguments but in here we know that the, the these arguments are coming from a user model dot uid user model dot uh, name and then user model dot image okay 
So this is how we are sending, but I, I, I really don't want to send like this because uh, let's just send them as a map, okay? So let's, instead of that, let's remove that and then create a map like that. We actually need to create uh, there like that, okay? So we are going to send them as a map like that so that we can easily identify them. So let's remove that. Because I, I don't like the way Copilot was sending them. So let's, instead of removing that, let's cut these. Then let's remove this also. Then here we are sending as a map. Yeah, like that. Okay. Like this. So because in the next screen we are just going to look for this, this and this. Then we get this data. Okay. But instead of this, let's create uh, constants. Okay. So also, uh, let's not send them as friend ID, friend name, friend image, because they might be also a group. So let's give them a general name. So let's go to the constants first. And then down here, let's create a static uh, const. Here, let's say contact UID. So let's copy that and then let's paste it here. And then also static const here, contact name, yeah. Then static const, contact image, okay. And then static const here, let's say group. Uh, group ID, okay. So let's copy that and paste it here. All right, now we can use this constant. So let's first go in the profile. Instead of this, we are going to name it as a constant dot uh, contact uh, contact UID, and then also here constants. Let's say constants dot the contact. Uh, name and then also here let's say constant the, the contact uh, constants what's it what's the problem here let me just copy this constant to the contact image and then also also here let me paste it constant the, the group id because here we are not we know we are not in a group the reason why we are also sending a group id because we are going to reuse that chat screen even for the groups okay so we want to send to navigate to the chat screen like this okay not uh, the way copilot was doing it i wasn't uh, it, it could have been right, but uh, let me just do what I know here, okay? So this, and then let's go back to the friends uh, list. Let's paste that even here, okay? We want to navigate like that. So here we know that it's not constant, it's uh, data. It's data. I mean, it's not user ID, it's data. Even here, it's data okay so this is how we are navigating to the chat screen with the arguments so next let's go to the main.dat and see if we have chat screen here so we don't have chat screen as a route so we need to add that let's say constants the chat screen which will retain our chat screen okay that's it in the main.dat we can close it and then let's go in the chat screen now the newly built chat screen here now we can receive the arguments okay so uh, get arguments passed from the from the friend list okay or let's just say from previous screen okay previous screen so let's so this is how we are getting the argument as a map. And then now let's set the argument here. 
friend UID. So here, let's just put uh, comments for one by one, okay? So here, let's uh, get the contact ID. Contact uh, UID from the arguments. Let's get that. So you can see now it's getting this. That's why I wanted the map because we're just getting from this. Okay. Contact UID the same way we have saved in the friend list. Okay. We are getting from this string. Okay. If we just read this, we, are, we get this. Okay. So that's how we are getting. So here we get the contact ID. And then here it's going to continue. We're going to get the contact name. Next, we are going to get the contact image. Next, we should get the group ID. Okay, so it doesn't know what we want here. Let's just tell it again. Get the group ID from the arguments. Okay, now we have a group ID. So we know that right now it's empty, but if we are entering the chat screen from the group, it's going to be containing a group ID. So for us to know if we we are in the chat screen screen because of the group ID. Again, let's have a check, okay? So here, what we are going to check is uh, let's let's just write a comment. Check if uh, if the group ID is is now okay. So we can say is empty. Uh, then we know it's not group chat. So here, if it is empty then it's it's a chat with a friend okay then it's a chat with a friend okay else it's a group chat and then let's it it, it will get that so here it will just check if is group chat is going to get this is 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 empty it's going to return true okay if it's group if is group chat so it will just check if group chat dot is empty this is going to be uh false okay then it's not group chat or what we can do we can just uh, change this to is not empty okay like that so if it's group chat which means group chat is not empty okay this is now clear to me in my opinion or else we can just also just put the uh, boolean here we can say if it is not empty then it's true else it's false okay we can do like that or we can remove this too okay but anyway let me just leave them like that so this is how we are getting uh, the arguments and then also now in the upper here this title we are going to give it uh, the correct title depending on uh, which screen we are in okay if we are in a group we are going to put the group name and then the maybe the members list down uh, the few that we can show if it's a chat screen with a friend we are going to put the our friend's image our name their name and uh, the status if they are online or if they are offline that's what is going to happen in this app bar okay so now here in the body let's return a safe area here or what we can do is we can return a, a column okay let's return a column here so in this column the first child is going to be an expanded widget okay so instead of this, let's have a, an expanded widget. So the child of this, exp let's remove this as well. So this expanded widget, that's where we're going to put our list of charts, okay? So here we're going to have a chat uh, messages list, okay? So once we do that, let's move that down. Copilot can can create the dummy list of messages here. So let's have it do it. Let's see. Okay, so since it's not doing it, let's just put some dummy messages here. Let's go back like this and then let's put the list. 
list yeah list view dot builder and then something like that so it has done something like that and then what's missing here we are missing an extra bracket like that and then after uh, this list down here we're going to have a text field okay so we're not going to put a divider like it's suggesting let's have a a text field here okay text uh, we can use a text uh, form field for now so this is where we are going to be entering a message and then here let's put another extra bracket so this is a just chat list now we can test it let's use this one this one uh, restarts faster so let's just run it first now uh, let me cancel it's not selected this is a pixel 6 then now let's run it all right the application has started let's go here and then we can view friends and then from here now we can click on chat so you can see this is a basic chat screen starting up okay so this is a just a dummy message that the copilot has just one to 20 item which says message at index okay so this will be the chat screen now what we need to do here is first let's display the correct uh, up bar here and then this chat field this text field this we are going to create the separate class for this because there's a lot of things that's going to be happening here we have to send an audio message we have to send an attachment so we are not going to have it here even this chat list we are going to create a separate class for the list of chats okay so now the things that we can create here i think even the app bar let's also create the separate class so let's first uh, start with the app bar and then we can go after the app bar we can come to make this okay this uh, bottom field okay so for now let's uh, start with the app bar <laughs> 